I mean you true pastors. Let me speak also to these false pastors. You who are mixing the darkness with light. When you are preaching, it's like you are in the kingdom of God, whereas you are saving the devil. For how long are you still going to do that? For how long are you going to continue doing that in the church of Jesus? I know that there are pastors who are consulting the darkness for the powers. Some, they are consulting the witch doctors for the protection of the church. What is that? Are you trying now to sustain God with the evil powers of the devil? Now is the time of the truth. Let us stand by the truth. Let us help those who are lost. In Jesus' name, I want to make a prayer now. You who are watching, who are not yet saved, accept Christ as your Lord and your Savior. I want to lead you in this prayer. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm accepting you today as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart and change my life. I believe with my heart that you are the only one Savior and you have died for my sins. I'm accepting you today is my Lord and my Savior. Amen. As you have received Jesus Christ, start reading the Word of God. Start by reading the book of John, the Gospel, the book which is between the book of Acts and the book of Luke. Make sure that really you are going to church and receive the teachings of Jesus Christ. Again, I want to make a prayer for those who are sick, for those who are having these evil tools in their bodies, in the name of Jesus, lift up your hands or touch the screen of television. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every sickness, every disease, and I command every evil tool to come out. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm stopping all the pains. Receive your healing, your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of you, you are going to see those things coming out from your body. Know this truth. Jesus Christ doesn't play. He is the Lord. He is the King. Again, I want to make a prayer of those who are still saving the devil. You who are still saving the devil in all these lines. Know that your kingdom has fallen. Your kingdom has fallen. You know this truth. Now I want to make a prayer for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm destroying all your tools. I'm destroying all your powers. I'm sending the fire Holy Spirit to burn all your powers, to burn all your tools in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, continue to reveal yourself to them because you have died for them. It's only that they've been deceived by Lucifer. I'm setting you free from all those chains and lies of the devil in Jesus' name. 